really cool platforming section right here at the start of the level that makes great use of the variable jump height. Jump too high will smash into the fire, jump too low will smash into the fire, jump too far will smash into the fire in front of the other fire. Really good, really challenging platforming section, especially if you're trying to move quickly. You know, I like it. It's good. Anyway, Leonardo's platforming gimmick is that he can phase through certain objects with the R1 button. And it's just as situational as climbing walls with Rav's size. There's no point in it. It really shouldn't be in the game. Now talking about this level in general, I don't have as much trouble playing this level as I do with Don's level. The one that we've already played, I mean. That level's called Techno Ninjutsu. But I have the most trouble A rank- sorry, A plus ranking this level. I've never once successfully A plus ranked this level. I can A plus rank most of the levels in this game no problem, because I love this game, and I like A plusing it. But this level I've never been able to A plus rank, not once. I'm not sure why the standards are set so high for this level and not any other, because you can play this level pretty much entirely flawlessly and still not get an A plus. I'm not gonna say the game's A plus rankings are generally lenient, but they're within my reach, you know? This level's even about the right length for this game. I think it's around six minutes. It's the perfect length for a game like this. All the levels should be about this long. Anyway, there's something unique to this level that isn't in any other level in the game for some reason. You can take the upper path twice in this level, and if you take the upper path in this level, you don't have to fight certain enemies. This is completely missing from any other level in the rest of the game. There's no way to avoid combat in any of the other levels, and I don't get it. The turtles only fight when they have to, except for Raphael, but that's a point of his character. So, you know, being able to avoid combat, especially in Leonardo's case, like we're doing right here, going right over the combat section without fighting them, that should be something we should be able to do all the time. It shouldn't be so situational. Like, you know, only in one, one level in the entire game. The combat is so slow and dull and generally oversimplified that it should probably only be used as a punishment for failing platforming, at least in the at least in the levels where you're playing as a single character. And the levels where, where you're playing as all four characters, the combat has a secondary purpose. But in levels where you're playing as single characters, it just slows you down. This combat section right here introduces us to enemies with ranged weaponry. There are only two ranged enemy types in the game. There's these fat guys with guns with laser sights, and then there are foot ninjas later in the game. But for now we only have to worry about these guys with guns. You know, I shouldn't call them fat, they don't really seem fat, they seem incredibly muscular. Which is a little weird in contrast with the twig-like, the twig-like normal soldiers. Does shooting guns make you buff? This section right here is mostly for spectacle, you're not actually going to be hit by a tree, and the trenches don't do anything except slow you down, so it's better to jump over them, but you don't have to. And I like this bit right here where you have to weave through the trees. You can't just jump over entire trees, you have to strategically weave through these. This is actually probably the level in the game with the least amount of filler. Hardly has any filler at all, now that I think about it. Anyway, here's another section where taking the upper path allows us to avoid the enemies. Unfortunately, the upper path requires wall running, which I goof up with uh, upsetting frequency, but I managed to get it down this time. In case you're curious, if we don't take the upper path, the combat sections in question are very long. I would say they're long enough to mess up our A plus rank, but as has already been established, I can't A plus rank this level, no matter how hard I try. After this bit with the mines comes maybe my favorite part of the level. We come, excuse me, we come across a burning village, and we have two choices: we can either run through the lower part of the village or jump across the rooftops to go faster. Leonardo even makes a comment on this, saying that we obviously took the faster route, and uh, I like that. I really, really dig that. I wish there were more parts in the game where there were alternate routes to take to go faster, but that's probably asking a bit much. So I'll just settle for the platforming being great as it is. Though I still enjoyed the idea of the combat being used as a punishment for failing. 
at least when you're playing as a single character. Leaving the combat alone when you're playing as all four turtles is fine. This is the end of the level, and it's a really, really big combat section with tons and tons of enemies. A lot of them have guns. There are two ways to deal with enemies with guns. You can either just move around until they fire, and if you're moving when they fire you won't get hit. Or you can knock them down with a kick and they'll stay down for a while so you can attack them. I prefer just to move around until they fire. Back when I was first playing this game and actually using the basic combos, this combat section was pretty difficult, but then I learned that you should really just be cheesing the combat system with the homing move. So I'm doing that instead now. Makes the combat sections much less frustrating. And then it was over, and I heard the people in the church give me the name. It is the ghost of the jungle! <gasps> oh. Viva the ghost of the jungle! Viva the ghost of the jungle! Viva the ghost of the jungle!